knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I'm back down. I am not an African American. You're an Oreo cookie. White in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an Afro. I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead. Make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100. 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. United the races with truth. Instead of dividing them with lies, we're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Welcome to the show. We're talking with um, Delaria. Robinson, he is uh, the Monterey Park Democrat Club president, and uh, that's right next to East LA. For those who don't know, uh, elections are coming up this year. Lots of stuff is going on, and I just wanted to uh, kind of get a hold of what's going on with the Democrats and what they're expecting. Uh, let me just correct something: seventy-two percent of the um, unemployed have been unemployed over two years. The, um, and um, I just, I don't know if I said that proper in the first uh, segment here who we were talking. Let me ask, um, before we go to the phones, what good, oh, let me ask about abortion. Do you support abortion? I don't support abortion. Why not? Well, I believe a fetus has a right to 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 live, but I do in some some circumstances. And you know, there are uh, uh, circumstances where abortion should should happen. And what are those circumstances? Well, well, rape and incest, I believe. Also, you know, financial hardship, and then some people are too so young. If somebody is pregnant and they are having financial hardship, they should kill the baby. Well, I don't. Do you really believe that it's killing a baby? I what mean, is it killing? Is it is it killing a baby? Would you would you say that? If it's not a baby, what is it? It's a fetus. And what is a fetus? A fetus is a a, a, a developing potential baby. It's not a baby. It's not a developing human being. It's a developing human being. It is. It is. So it is a baby. It is. But you just said it wasn't a baby. Well, come on, Jess. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Baby is out of the womb, okay? And 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 my idea of a baby is you're holding the baby and it's crying and you got to feed it, <laughs> this, this, and that. Okay? Obama, some, would God support killing a, a baby in the womb? <laughs> well... I'm not God. I, w- I couldn't answer that question. But I thought you but, were a son of God. Sure I am. But you don't know your father's but, thoughts? But but listen, people are being killed every day in wars. And what does uh, that have to do uh, with abortion? This, that, and the other. What does that have to do with abortion? Well, it's, if, if, it's a, if, if abortion was not a necessity, I don't believe it would be done. <laughs> If people, didn't think, if people did not think that abortion was a necessity, I don't believe it would be done. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, do you realize that nearly 55 million babies uh, have been killed in the United States? I didn't realize that. Now that you know, oh, you still think it's okay? It's necessary? Well, you know, when I had my two children and I was married, and those are the only children I've had I've had. Right. Isn't that a blessing? Right. So But all, suppose all your y- wife all, had decided, Oh, I don't want this fetus. Well, she could have done it several different ways. She didn't necessarily have to tell me if she wanted to. You would have been okay have with a, that? She didn't necessarily have to tell me. Would you have been okay with that? If she had decided that? If that was that's a decision that she wants to make, and that's what I was referring to before. She has her own mind, 
and that's her body. So if she had decided to kill your child or children, you would have been okay with that? Well, it would probably not have been her decision alone if she wanted to tell me. But she didn't. women don't necessarily have to tell you what they're doing with their own body. Would you have been okay with that? I would have have to been okay with it. Why? She's my wife. But it's we're your to, child. We're together. It's your child, though. It's my child. It's my wife. We're together. And, and, and when you have a wife and when you can practice marriage and when you can stay together with a woman, you have to realize that she's an individual also. So just to stay with her, you let her kill your children? <laughs> I've got two healthy children. That's but enough. But has she decided That's to enough. kill your child bef- children no, before they were born? No, she's not going to make that decision. Just to stay with her, you would have gone along with it. Uh, marriages are enduring. And, you know, there's, there's, You're not answering there's that good question. and bad. Answer yes, that I'm question. Gonna with, so I'm going to stay with her. So you would have regardless. allowed her, you would have gone along with her killing your children just to stay with her. I'm going to go along with her, uh, whatever she wants to do. And we're going to support one another. We're going to be together. Yes. Wow. Um, you said that it's the woman's body. Wh- why do you say it's her body? She can do what she wants. It's her choice. Why, what makes you think it's her body? Well, it is her body. She's an individual. Did she create that body? She did not create the body. Who did? God created the body. And does God say our bodies are not our own, but the temple of God? Well, you know, I don't I don't really believe most people mm. are uh, 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 read the Bible word for word and do what the no, Bible says word for word. No, that's not what I ask you. Does word. the Bible say that our bodies are not our own, but the temple of God? Well, the Bible does say that. So how is it her body then? Because she's an individual. But what does she still didn't create her own body? She may not be that type of Christian. She may not read the Bible word for word and understand it word but for word. But you do, right? <clears throat> even even myself, I would not put her up under that type of yoke. That's why Jesus came. If you're a Christian, that's why Jesus came. You wouldn't put He's her not, under what type of yoke? To say that they, she has to do what the Bible says do word for word for word. Oh, so she doesn't have to follow the commandments of God. She does in some respects, but not in all respects because no one does. So did Jesus come so that women can commit abortions? Well, he came so you could, if, if there was an abortion or there was sin that was committed, that there would be an avenue to be forgiven. <laughs> so let me, I, I got a, a wide avenue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I want to move forward. So you are Christian. You are the head of the Democratic, Monterey Park Democratic Club. Um, has, tell me something good Obama has done for the country. Well, he's, he's really raised the political image of the United States of America. <laughs> Are you joking? No, in what I'm, way? I'm very serious. In, w- in what way? He and his wife have, have done an outstanding job. Like what? In projecting uh, inclusiveness, diversity, uh, being outstanding, in education. What? Oh, man. When sure. we come back, we're going to take some calls. Okay. Back in a moment. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Don't break even. The best days will be some of my worst. 